All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be reacting to the most requested barber tutorial. I've been getting requests about this man pretty consistently on every reaction video that I've done on tutorials. They kept saying Cisco, and I was trying to find Cisco on the Beer Brand channel, but... It turns out his name is Francisco, I think. I could be reacting to the wrong person, but I think it's Francisco Alba. That's the only person I could find under Cisco and Beer Brand. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and check out one of his most popular tutorials. I might be wrong, but I wanted to check out one of his most popular, most viewed tutorials. This one happens to be what looks like a fade. That's interesting because I don't think I've seen a fade tutorial on Beer Brand or at least reacted to one. Let's go ahead and check that out. Masterful Skin Fade Transformation Francisco Album. We'll check out the comments afterwards. Beer Brand is at 1.64 million subscribers. Congrats, guys. Y'all are on y'all way to 2 milli gang. My name is James Wilson. I am the growth marketing manager here at Beard Brand. So I've been growing out my hair now since March, basically. And I had this plan that I was going to grow it long, but I've gotten really sick of it. I don't like how it looks. It Some looks days cool it to look me. good. I, I just can't look like garbage the entire time. Damn. <laughs> All right, James, what, uh, what are you thinking about doing today, man? Just a little trim, a little edge up? Uh, no, I want to <laughs> go down to a skin fade on the sides. Try and keep the top as long as possible where it still looks good. Looks like a studio. And you, you parted from left to right, correct? Correct, yeah. So here with the top, what we're going to do is just going to point cut the pretty much the, uh, the tips of the hair. Just clean it up. I would have liked to see what he's doing on that side. And somebody's recording. Do you oh, game there we all? go. Yep, I play some Xbox. Yep. Yeah. So I think Pretty he took casual. a vertical section yeah, right I where mean, the side part is. I and that's his guide for the uh, rest of it. Quarantine, I was definitely playing a lot of Warzone. So he's taking horizontal sections. My brother in law has a. I try to play uh, Warzone, and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing, man. It's I ended hard. up dying, like, <laughs> with the parachute, like, you know, how you get dropped off. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? So true. It's nothing like modern warfare. When I was younger and I was playing Call of Duty. I don't know what's going on. When they drop you off like that, <laughs> get killed right when you about to hit the ground. All right, so he's going clip over comb. You can see he sectioned what belongs on top. He sectioned what naturally will fall over to the sides is what he's cutting with clip over comb. And he's just using one of them classic wall combs. Yeah, you could tell Cisco's nice. Look how much bulk he cleared. He blasted through that because he knows he's just going to do a ball fade, right? And the shape he's creating with his comb, that's what he's focused on. He's not focused on the clipper. He's focused on how he's angling and so holding using his the comb. guide here from like the shape that we created. Yep. I'm gonna set my ball line right. That seems a little too low. That. that seems a little too low. Just kind of work. Now the reason why it seems a little too low is because this is the darkest part of his head, of the head. So you're gonna go from lightest way down here and try to create a fade where your darkest point is way up here. That's a lot of distance to cover. I'm not sure if the back is gonna look gradient. If it does, it's because he goes back and spreads the fade out more. But that seems like a lot of distance. Where look on the side, you can see the distance from the bald line to the darkest point is a lot shorter than in the back. But we'll see. I mean, he looks like he's a pro. He knows what he's doing so far with the shear work and the clip over comb has been crazy, crazy good. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, now that we got the uh, the ball line, I might just need to shut up shaver and just knock off all that stubble. Yeah, that's super important. Such an underrated nice step. And smooth. When I get ball phase, if you don't use the shaver on me, I feel like I lost a day or two of a haircut longevity. One close. He's going from bald to one closed. That's a big step in between. But there's a million different ways to come out with quality haircuts, guys. So I'm not sleeping on them. One open and just work a little bit higher than the, the one closed. And right now I'm just going in between what I did with the one uh, close and, and uh, one open and just kind of working my lever yeah. in between that space just Probably to just go any halfway, dark spots right? that I see. Probably just close it halfway or a quarter of the way move open. i to uh, my number two. Two, I'm going to do a two open. I'll say he might, using these steps, he might not need one and a half guard. He could probably just follow beneath this and clean it up with the uh, one guard open. One and one half guard. Again, open. Coming out nice. Now we're gonna start blending the last or the the line at the bottom ball line into the into the one. 
coming out really nice but i feel like his lighting could be better see how it's dark like if i was working in those conditions man i'd be struggling i don't know about you guys but between my glasses bro and bad lighting james is that hmm. the uh, the longest you've had your hair ever or have you grown it out before it's definitely the longest i've had it in at least 10 years yeah yeah now mind you he did a one guard in this area that he's, just he's pretty much cutting all the way up to the one guard open what i'm doing now with my uh this is no, my half the guard i'm open. going in and just kind of attacking any darker spots that i see just to blend into the to the one okay so he is spreading the fade out guys because remember this whole area that's here was a one guard close this whole area that's here is a one guard open and now he's about to go in the same area with a half guard that's why i just kind of go with blade open in this area because that's what you end up doing anyways if you're trying to create a nice transition or a gradient fade so if he would just skip the one guard close and just went to the blade open he'd already be at that blade open and then he'd be doing a half guard above that blade open to blend into the the one open that he did all in this area so i just feel like he added some extra steps now that he's doing what he's doing though i feel very comfortable that this haircut is going Gonna come out blurry yeah it's coming out clean any botched haircuts come into your <laughs> uh not as much as i thought man there were there's definitely some but yeah either clients leaned over to the either i'm gonna buzz it like shave it off or they just grew it out and like very few in between where like somebody actually tried to do a, uh, a home haircut i had a few that yeah, did that's home definitely cuts. a good thing but you gotta i did have it. a client who came in his friend cut his hair like a roommate and i was like damn dude i actually did a really good job like <laughs> yeah it's coming out really nice now we're gonna connect the back to the left side in similar fashion But you know what, man? Even though I feel like he could have skipped that one guard, doesn't matter as long as he gets the Dude, results. I was pretty pumped about the uh, the Colonia drop. That's what he's doing. Over the, uh, I guess it's like two months ago now. Yeah, it was like beginning of April. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. What's your uh, What's your favorite? I haven't gotten a chance to uh, to smell them. Oh really? Yeah, I saw them here in the back. Yeah, we'll we'll change that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's coming out really clean. Very nice. Let's see what technique he uses to get rid of this little bit of shelf right here. I'm gonna go in with uh, my three just to give me some more real estate here for the blend. Bro, that cut is coming out nice. Now I see why Cisco has been requested so much because that's coming out fire. Blurry, bro. So I'm gonna go back to using the uh, technique that I uh, used to gut everything here at the bottom or on the sides, not the bottom. So it looks uh, like he dampened the but hair. When I did, I did it with clipper open. I'm gonna do it with clipper close. Bro, I really like. Even with the bad lighting, the cut is blurry. All so right, I, I know that in we person, have the fade down. We build the shape really on the nice. sides. I'm gonna connect the top to the sides to make it all fit together nice. All right, over directing the fringe, keeping everything squared, using that clipper over comb that he just did as his guide where he's connecting. And given that the top is gonna be Make a sure lot the longer. fringe connects and having the sights as short perimeter. you're gonna naturally have a disconnection from the ear forward so from this point of the ear forward mm -hmm. just making that a little bit more uh, cohesive here for james cisco is nice block graduation connecting the bulk here keeping that nice shape i'm a fan i'm a fan loving it Blow drying the head, man. Cisco's a beast. I'm so glad y'all put me on. Look at that. That's blurry. Shape is on point. Such a good cut. And I want to only attack with uh, here with the the texturizers. Only this side here of the hair, so this doesn't lay heavy. Interesting. Just softening up some of this weight line. 
Putting the beard in. You gotta put the C cup on this side still. He cuts like your typical barber that's like been doing it for a while. Sometimes you go off, you get off track of whatever your system or your plan is. Cause he had lined up one side, <laughs> it left the other side like that to the very last second. That looks so good. Still keep, I mean, as much uh, length as we could on the on the top, we're still making it very squared, squared and symmetrical on both sides. Not taking it super high. Yeah. You know, still have nice uh, shape on the sides to complement your head shape. Yep. And uh, the right way. Yeah, man. The right way. Yeah. Perfect, dude. Yeah, man. Looks real good. Looks really good, man. Good job, Cisco. Look at the before. Look at the before. And now look at the, look at the after. Looks good. It feels good, man. It feels great. I saw to, he put uh, the blow dryer on him. To feel my scalp, I guess. <laughs> but I, I wonder if he used product. Yeah, good scalp feel. Um, it feels just like having a fresh fade is just the best feeling. It's so like a nice clay. Cool. Things you guys do that cut decided justice. to watch this video all the way through. I just want to let you know, I deeply appreciate it. Thank you. That's dope. Shout out to Beer Brand. I love what they do as a brand, as content creators. That was a cool video, guys. I think Cisco is an amazing barber. I would have liked to see clay afterwards or something, or something in the hair just to kind of refine it a little bit more, give it a little bit more hold, made the texture stand out a little bit more. But overall, fire cut. Love the techniques used. The fade worked for him. I was a little scared in the beginning. But yeah, dope cut, guys. This was the most requested tutorial this time around. And I know there's always a new most requested. So the next most requested tutorial, that that will be the most requested that's confusing but guys if you have somebody you want to request please do in the comment section below and we'll keep this series going with that being said guys we drop daily freaking content daily content if you haven't noticed like for 90 days straight we have dropped a video every single day it's a lot of work shout out to georgia shout out to you guys we've been putting in work and we're gonna keep this grind going but yeah see you in the next video love y'all appreciate y'all see ya. <sighs>